Hey students, and welcome to your eighth week of art class. This week, we're going to start off with a read aloud about being thankful. Then I'm going to show you some decorating ideas for your pumpkins. And then the rest of the time, you can either work on pumpkin decorating ideas, or you may finish work that you haven't finished from previous videos. Even when it may not seem like it, there is always something to be thankful for. Today, we're going to read I'm Thankful Each Day by P.K. Hallinan. I'm thankful each day for the blessings I see and for all of the gifts that are given to me. In counting the stars at the edge of the sea, I can't help but feel they were put there for me. I'm thankful for summers and warm golden days. I'm thankful for autumns of orange pumpkin haze. I'm thankful for meadows and bright colored flowers. I'm thankful for raindrops and soft summer showers. Each sunset is special. Each sunrise is new. Each breeze in the tree is a promise come true. Each evening's a wonder where beauty abounds. Each morning's a harvest of new sights and sounds. And it's nice just to know that beneath winter snow, the blossoms of spring are beginning to grow. I'm thankful for friends for laughing and sharing. I'm thankful for family for loving and caring. I'm thankful for all the kindness I see. I'm thankful for peace and pure harmony. My body's a present of perfect design. My mind is a power as endless as time. And if ever I worry that trouble is near, I always remember there is nothing to fear. For each hour is laden with infinite love. Each second brings comfort and joy from above. And I guess in the end, the best thing to say is I'm thankful for living. I'm thankful each day. Wasn't that a wonderful story of all of the things that we can be thankful for? Always remember to be kind, be thoughtful, genuine, and most of all, be thankful. For our activity today, I'm going to show you some basic decorating ideas for your pumpkins. The only supplies that you'll need for today is a piece of paper, an eraser, and a pencil, and as always, your creativity and thankfulness. Let's start off by looking at some basic pumpkin carvings. These carvings use basic shapes like circles, triangles, and curves to make all of these faces. 
You can also choose to just make designs in your pumpkin rather than making actual faces. Here are some designs like that. If you think you're up to it, you can get really creative with your designs and create actual objects in your pumpkin, like a bat or a cat. Instead of carving a pumpkin, you might choose to paint it or draw on it with a Sharpie. I'm going to show you a couple different ways that you could do that. This pumpkin is a thankful pumpkin. What you do is you write all of the things that you personally are thankful around and around and around it until the whole pumpkin is filled. I'm going to show you one that I do later in the video. Follow along while I make these basic face designs on this paper. Now you'll have them in case you want to use them for your pumpkin for the decorating contest. Just come back to this video and re-watch it when you're trying to carve it or draw it on your pumpkin. For this pumpkin, you're going to make two triangles for the eyes, a triangle for the nose, and then a curve for the mouth. If you're coloring it in on your pumpkin, I would color the eyes and the mouth and the nose in black. And if you're carving your pumpkin, this is the piece that you would carve out. For this pumpkin, I'm going to show you how to make a spider web with a spider. Start by drawing intersecting lines going in different directions. You want them all to go all the way around, about evenly spaced. You'll want to use a curved line to connect each of the pieces of your spider web, like this. Once you start, make a whole ring around and then keep working your way out with curved lines connecting each of the parts of the web until you get to the very end. Now I'll show you how to draw an easy spider. Start off by making a circle. Now you're going to make another circle towards the edge of it, but it needs to be a little bit smaller. This will be the head of your spider. Color both of these circles in. The bigger one will be the body 
The smaller one will be the head. Now all we need to do is add legs. I added six legs to my spider. Now that you know how to draw a spider, you can add it to your web on your pumpkin. For this design, I'm going to show you how to make a ghost. I'm going to start off by making his body inside of a circle. Now I'll make his eyes and his mouth. The part around his body, but also inside the circle, is the part that you would cut out. That's the part that I'm coloring black in my picture. This last design just uses circles. All of these circles repeat in a pattern, and if you were going to carve them, you would carve out the circles so that if you put a candle inside, the light would shine through all of these little circles. Now I'm going to show you how to make a thankful pumpkin. I'm going to write thankful pumpkin around the top of my pumpkin and then underneath it, I'm going to start by writing some things that I'm thankful for. First off, I'm most thankful for my family, so I'm going to write the names of my family members, like my mom, my dad, my brother, his wife, and his children. I'm going to keep going around and around, listing things that I'm thankful for until the entire pumpkin is filled.
Now that I've given you some ideas, I would like you to use the rest of the time in this video to either work on your own pumpkin ideas or you may finish work from previous videos. I look forward to seeing the ideas that you come up with for the pumpkin decorating contest.